Hey fellow RC enthusiasts, it's your buddy Tom Cogswell here from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC here to give you a instructional video on how to program your Avian ESCs. The Avian Smart ESCs are a great ESC that can be programmed in a number of different ways and in this one we're going to show you how to use the throttle stick to program your Avian Smart ESC. You can use the throttle stick to program a number of different parameters. We're going to jump down to the bench and I'll show you how. All right, RC enthusiasts, this is Tom's Hands, and we're gonna go through how to use the throttle stick on your Spectrum radio to program a Spectrum Avian Smart ESC. This is gonna be the, essentially the same way to program all the ESCs from the 15 amp up to the 100 amp. There are certain features that the 100 amp can do that the 60 and the 45 and the 15 cannot do, but a great companion for this setup is to grab your manual that came with your Spectrum Smart Avian ESC and follow along with us as we program this ESC. First off, we're going to calibrate the ESC. Now the ESCs, they do come pre-calibrated from the factory from us, but if there is any reason that you need to calibrate the ESC, follow along with these simple steps. We do have my mic here in the middle, so if you're wondering what this little guy here sitting here is, that's so we can hear the motor beeps a little bit more clearly to our friends on the other side. So let's go ahead and plug in a battery. But first, if you're calibrating your ESC, number one is to put your throttle stick all the way up. Now, double check with your Spectrum radio, that throttle all the way up is actually putting out 100%. So we'll go to our monitor screen here and we'll look at throttle and when we put it all the way up let's make sure we're getting at or at least very close to 100 percent and then when we go all the way down it's going to negative 100 or at least very close to negative 100 percent if you do not have that it could calibrate improperly or not calibrate at all so step one is to put your throttle stick all the way up Step two is to plug in a battery to your ESC. We're gonna go ahead and plug in this four cell all the way. We're gonna wait for those two beeps. It goes beep, beep. And then we put the throttle stick all the way down and then it'll give us our initialization tones. Like that, that single beep at the end means that calibration was complete. So once again, when you put the throttle stick all the way up, it goes doo doo. And then all the way down, it'll do the initialization and then a single tone, a one tone. All right, let's continue forth to programming the ESC. And like you guys should, I will have my um, stick programming guide open so I can have you guys follow along with us as we go through the different parameters. So let's go ahead and change a setting on our Spectrum Avian Smart ESC. Let's start with changing the brake setting. It comes defaulted as a disabled brake type, but we can change it to normal or proportional. Let's change it to proportional. So to do that, the first step, and it's much like going into calibration mode on your ESC that we just did for you, is we put our throttle stick all the way up before plugging in our battery into our smart speed control. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in our Avian smart speed control to our four cell battery we have here. We're gonna hear two tones, and we're gonna wait five seconds. You'll hear those tones, and after we hear two beeps, we're gonna drop the throttle stick all the way down. And for por proportional, if we look at our chart, we're waiting for three beeps. That's two, three, good. And then we go all the way up. Did a loop, means it's accepted that change in the programming. Let's see, how about we change our brake force? One, two, three, go down. So that's disabled, number one, one beep. Let's change it to five, level five. So we're gonna wait for one long tone and one short tone. That's the one long, so that's level four. That's level five. Ah, it has been accepted. Let's do another one. Let's change the BEC voltage on this guy. We're gonna wait for number seven. Number seven is going to be 
one long tone and two short tones. So let's listen for that. That was the one long. One long, one short. One long, two short. Down. All right, that was number one. Number two. Number three, so let's change it to 8.4 BEC. There we go. So now our BEC on our ESC is gonna be putting out 8.4 volts to our, our receiver. That's kind of handy. So if you wanted to run high voltage servos, that's the way you would do it. Let's change the motor rotation. This is one of my favorite things about these guys is that if you plug in your, bat, your, your, your motor and you spin it up and it's going the wrong direction, instead of having to swap wires and take your cowl off and things like that, you can change the motor rotation using the stick programming. So we're waiting for number 10, which is two long tones. So let's wait in here for two long tones. There she is, two long tones. We'll put the stick all the way down. And we're going to wait for two short beeps. And then stick all the way up. Now the motor rotation will be the opposite direction. I know it's hard to tell on this, but take my word for it. And there you have it. That's how you program your Spectrum Avian ESCs using the throttle stick on your Spectrum transmitter or any transmitter really. It just needs the throttle signal to tell it to change those parameters. If you guys are wondering how to use the Spectrum ESC programmer box, we will have another video on that coming here soon. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with that. This is Tom's Hand signing off. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you all RC enthusiasts for joining us here. We'll see you next time.